One of the things we do during the cockpit preparation is to look at the ECAM hydraulic page to verify the fluid level. Select the ECAM hydraulic page on the ECP. The hydraulic fluid quantity information is displayed as shown by the arrows at the bottom of the hydraulic page. The green rectangles represent the normal filling range. The fill level indicators show the actual fluid level. You can see that the actual fluid level is in the normal fill range. The amber rectangles indicate the warning level. An indicator changes from green to amber when the fluid level reaches the warning level, as shown for the blue system. The door page is automatically displayed at the gate. To see what happens on the ECAM hydraulic page when a cargo door is opened, select the hydraulic key on the ECP. Observe on the hydraulic page, the hollow white triangle indicates that the pump is off. As soon as the cargo handle is operated, the yellow electric pump runs automatically. On the system page, the yellow hydraulic electric pump triangle has changed from hollow white to solid green, indicating that the pump is running. The yellow system pressure has increased from zero amber to 3,000 green, providing pressure to operate the doors. However, the yellow system is not fully pressurized, as indicated by the system identification remaining amber. When the yellow system is pressurized via the cargo door system, the cargo doors, the yellow brake system, including the parking brake accumulator, and the right reverser are pressurized, but only during actual pump operation. If the yellow system is pressurized via the cockpit switch, then the entire yellow system, including the PTU, will be pressurized. The PTU will not pressurize the green system if it has been switched off. As soon as the door is fully opened, the yellow electric pump stops. Notice that the yellow electric pump is now hollow white. The pressure has dropped to zero, indicating that the system is totally depressurized. The process will be the same during the cargo door closure. Normally, the engine system page is displayed during engine start. However, we'll leave the hydraulic page displayed for a better understanding of the indications on this page. Note, in the following sequence, Airbus starts the number two engine first. Because there is useful information in this sequence, it is being used, but with the understanding that it is UAL policy to start the number one engine first. Before we start the engine, notice the memo item stating, Nose wheel steering disconnect. Before pushback, maintenance pulls a lever, disconnecting the nose wheel steering, and inserts a pin into the assembly. When disconnected, a message appears in green in the memo area. We will start engine number two for you. During this sequence, observe the yellow system. The yellow engine-driven pump changes from low amber to inline green to indicate that it is starting to pressurize. Yellow pressure increases from zero amber to the normal operating pressure, which is 3,000 psi green. The yellow system identification has changed from amber to white to indicate that the users connected to the yellow system are provided with hydraulic pressure. 
The engine number indication has changed from amber to white to indicate that the engine N2 has reached idle. As soon as one engine is running, the blue electric pump starts automatically to pressurize the blue system. Observe that the blue electric pump indication is now green in line to indicate that the pump is running and pressurized. The pressure in the blue system is 3000 psi. The blue system identification has changed from amber to white to indicate that the users connected to the blue system are provided with blue hydraulic pressure. At this point, note that the nose wheel steering disconnect message has turned amber. Whenever an engine is running and the nose wheel steering is disconnected, the memo message turns amber as a cautionary statement. We will now start engine one. Observe the green system indications. As soon as the second engine sequence is initiated, the power transfer unit, PTU, is tested. Notice that the green PTU line connects the yellow and green systems, pressurizing the green system to 3000 psi. On the engine warning display, the hydraulic PTU memo is displayed. Once the start sequence is complete, the PTU is disconnected and the three hydraulic systems are supplied normally. Notice that the hydraulic PTU memo has disappeared. We are about to take off. Select the ECAM hydraulic page on the ECP. Notice that the indications on the hydraulic page are normal. The plane has now taken off. Let's retract the landing gear. Note a slight decrease of the green hydraulic fluid level due to the retraction of the landing gear.